open the suction frame and then fix frame and then you place the back cover to the heating plate then uh, the temperature will go up to uh, setting temperature our factory setting is 80 degrees for 5 minutes uh, so uh, when the heat on is under action the temp uh, value is under blinking after uh, this temperature go up to the setting temperature of 80 then this uh, time uh, dot will blink and uh, this time of value will count down to 43210 at, at that time it will beep three times then uh, heating is finished this machine is free voltage type from AC 110 to 240 voltage and we adopted a uh, quality heating plate which whose uh, four corners are controlled by the tolerance of uh, 5 degrees so uh, you can use uh, this device with a safety circuit and uh, the device inside there are two uh, circuit board for controlling main power and for controlling temperature and timer uh, and uh, for your reference, uh, the warm-up function of uh, temperature conservation is automatically activated. If you turn off, it will stop, but uh, when you turn on main power, it is automatically activated and you can uh, compare the difference. When the warm-up is activated, uh, it is uh, activated uh, at the setting temperature, for example, 50 degrees, then the machine will maintain at least 50 degrees uh, regardless of time. But if you turn off this woman, uh, that uh, heat conservation is not activated. But our factory setting is, regardless of this, always uh, this button is turned on. So if you do not require this button, you can turn off by uh, simply clicking it. So whenever you uh, push or not, uh, the LED lamp will show whether this function is activated. For example, this heat on button has a red LED and uh, this warm on uh, button has a green LED. If it, the lamp is turned on, the specific action is under uh, action. So at this time, the heat on heating and warm on heat conservation is both active. So uh, for your reference, we uh, save some time by uh, clicking warm on. So at, uh, at this movie, uh, we save some time of reheating. Uh, from about uh, 50 degrees, uh, it uh, started the heating. So if you have a lot of uh, smartphones to disassemble then uh, I recommend to use this woman function and you don't need to touch anything because our factory setting is uh, to let this uh, woman automatically activate it as you see uh, Eight, eight efforts the temperature reaches 80 degrees, uh, the temp dot uh, start to blink. If uh, temp uh, timer dot uh, start to blink, it means uh, it is under maintenance uh, action. Uh, our uh, uh, device concept is uh, from the room temperature to uh, slowly temperature go up, and after the temperature reaches the target temperature 80. Uh, it will maintain for five seconds. So this is our recommended uh, setting value. So the temperature uh, remaining time for the maintenance is uh, one minute. So as you see, the timer one minute is remaining and the timer dot is blinking and three times of a bit uh, alarms you 
the whole heating is completed and then it will turn over the phone and as you tip the camera side placed at the uh, front and then you cover the fixing frame and adjust the fixing bar and then uh, cover it with the suction frame and you carefully adjust the position Then you lift the grip of suction frame and then you turn the knob screw. The black head screw is knob screw. And then now you see that uh, and you hear the sound. And then you stop turning and pour metal alcohol with the container whose end is needle. So by the narrow needle, the methyl alcohol can effectively go inside the side of the bone and it will reduce the stickiness of the uh, double-sided sticky tape. And you carefully turn and stop. When you hear the sound of uh, suction sound of the sticky tape you stop turning and you pour the metal alcohol all side of the foam Then you uh, arrange the remaining sticky tape appropriately and now the S7 back cover is completely taken.